Hey everyone, Angela Langlotz, trademark and business law attorney here with some more interesting trademark talk. Today, I'd like to talk about a case study. The case study is Carl's Jr.'s The Breakfast Burger. And I'm going to show you what I mean in a second. So when I'm out and about, sometimes I find things or, or see trademark usage that I think might be interesting to you all. So I note that and I track it and I put it on my list of interesting things to talk about. And this is one such case. So I was in Carl's Jr. Don't worry, I was good. I ordered my burger with a lettuce wrap instead of the bun. Trust me, you don't need the bun. I certainly don't need the bun. <laughs> anyway, so I ordered this burger and while I was eating my burger, I noticed that they had an advertisement for the breakfast burger. I'll go ahead and show that to you here. And what I noticed about the breakfast burger, here it is right here in all its glory, the breakfast burger, was that, let me zoom out a little, what I noticed about the breakfast burger was that they had the breakfast burger TM. See, you can see the little trademark here. And I thought to myself, well, that's kind of interesting that they would claim trademark usage on the breakfast burger. Now, you'll notice a couple things about this. Uh, you'll notice that it has a TM instead of a circle R. That's because they're not likely to get a registration or even attempt to get a registration for a descriptive mark like the breakfast burger. And I've talked about descriptive marks a few times in some previous videos, but just let me say it again. If your mark is descriptive of the goods or services that you are offering, <clears throat> in this case, a burger that is intended to eat at breakfast time, a breakfast burger, <clears throat> excuse me, you are not going to get a registration for that because it is merely descriptive. Merely descriptive marks do not serve as good trademarks because they don't distinguish your goods and services from anyone else's goods and services. So I thought it was interesting that they would even bother to put a TM and tell everybody else, hey, <clears throat> we intend that this be used as a trademark, so please don't you use it, right? Because it's so descriptive. It's, it's really almost generic, <laughs> right? It's a breakfast burger. It's a burger that you eat at breakfast. I can't think of anything more descriptive of the goods, right? So that was interesting. And then I also noticed that they didn't have the circle R, of course, for the similar reason that you're not gonna be able to get something like that past the trademark examiner because it is so descriptive. So no circle R for you, you only get to use the TM. Now let's talk about when you get to use the circle R and when you must use the TM. Unless you have an active registration from the Patent and Trademark Office, you do not have a registered trademark. You can apply to register the trademark, but you don't actually get to use the circle R on your trademark unless and until you actually get a registration. So just because you apply doesn't mean that you get to use the circle R. You continue to use the TM symbol until you actually get the registration issued. Is there any penalty for using the circle R? Probably not, but it's dishonest because you really don't have a registration. And so you shouldn't do it, of course business ethics and all. So that was my interesting Carl's Jr. trademark experience of last week. So if you like my Trademark Doctor page on Facebook, you will be notified every time I go live. And if you make a comment and send me a question, I will be happy to answer that in a future live video. You can also find me online at trademarkdoctor.net 
where there is a whole video library answering basic trademark questions and an FAQ section about trademarks, copyrights, and patents as well. So for now, take care, and I'll see you in the next live video. Ciao.